Do you have a teddy bear? I know you all must have one. This is a little teddy bear. And the bear is sad because you see in the English language bear can be a noun or a verb. So when I was really tired and I wrote people an email, this is more than I can bear, well, I spelt it as B-A-R-E. And see, the bear says, unless I'm talking about burlesque, I shouldn't really say that. <laughs> or you know, when I see something really beautiful and unusual and I want to say, what a rare view, well, when I spell it R-E-A-R, -E it becomes no longer beautiful because it's just a rare view <laughs> in some cases. Well, um, I've been wanting to tell you guys this story for the longest time and I never decided because I didn't really want to curse on stage. But I'm not really cursing. I mean, not in Russian anyway. <laughs> so. And it's a true story. There was this lady, she majored in law, and she came to America, was trying to get a job for a lawyer. And he interviewed her and asked, well, what, you know, what education do you have? So, well, her English was still... So uh, she tried to kind of say it more in Russian. And we say, um, like, law major, we say judicial, like, yuridichesky, and it's abbreviated your, like, kind of like you are. And then major sounds like fakultiat, uh, faculty. And so when he said, what is your major? She basically said, you're. <laughs> and um, no, she didn't get the job, <laughs> poor thing. It's just, you know, sometimes two languages don't blend together that well. So, but a little bit about geography. You know how I used to say Connecticut? I used to say, Connecticut. <laughs> and, um, and I still get mixed up between um, Venice and Venus. So when I tell people I want to go to Italy, I would tell them, I really want to go to Venus. <laughs> you know. um, and in New Orleans on Mardi Gras, you know how they throw beads from the second floor? Except I said that they throw beads, is that, you know, that big purple vegetable? <laughs> If that big thing hits you from the second floor, yeah, that can really hurt, right? So, and, well, then there was this word that I've seen it written, but I've never heard it pronounced. So, I was taking oceanography in college, and someone said, what are you guys studying about right now? And I said, oh, we're studying about these predators. He said, what? <laughs> Do you mean predators? I said, oh, that's how you say that? <laughs> so, now I like to tell my husband, you know when we were predating? <laughs> And, uh, and more expressions. Um, there was this Jewish gathering, and this guy, he wasn't Jewish, he asked me, well, can I go with you? Is it kosher if I go? And I said, yeah, I don't think there's going to be food there. <laughs> and um, and, um, and also, sometimes the trouble can be averted just in time, because my husband told me, he said, I know, Helen, that you're very social, outgoing, you like to go to all these events, be with people at parties, but don't tell people you're a party girl, because that can mean something slightly different. <laughs> so. <laughs> and um, one time we rented a car, and it was really big, and I sat in it, and I said, wow, this car is so spaced out. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, there is a very famous song, American song, that I've heard 200 times, and all along I had no idea that what I'm hearing is a whole different song. It was playing on the radio one time. You know that song, Take Me to the Funky Town, Take Me to the Funky Town. And so I, I told my husband, I said, so it must be like a zoo in that town. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, because she always says, take me to the monkey town. I want to go to the monkey town. You know? <laughs> Um, and uh, 
Well, unfortunately, from time to time, I still get mixed up between similar words like um, coach and couch. Uh, usually, though, you kind of know what I'm trying to say. But there was one time when it actually played pretty good. Well, not in my favor. Um, my son used to take baseball, and uh, you know, I would go to the practices and games. And so one of the fathers said, well, do you really enjoy going to practices and games? I said, yeah, but you know, sometimes I just rather lay on a coach. <laughs> Now, one Russian friend shared with me recently, she got confused between passed out and passed away. <laughs> and, well, there was this party and a guy got really drunk and, you know, he had to go to another room and lay on bed, didn't feel good. And someone walked in looking for him and said, where is he? And she said, oh, don't worry, he's just passed away. He, he's on the bed, you know, you know. He's in a different room on the bed right there, passed away. He's okay, don't worry. <laughs> and, uh, okay, now for this one, you guys have to visualize it exactly the way that I did. I mean, take this expression literally word by word, okay? Uh, one time my boss told me, oh, Helen, I'm just pulling your leg. I was thinking... Is this a sexual harassment? <laughs> oh, come on, little bear. I can't bear to bear any more embarrassing stories. <laughs> 